we've been studying about the prophetic word and uh, it's exciting to know that God of heaven and earth, the creator of heaven and earth, chooses to speak to human vessels, chooses to put his word in finite man. The infinite God chooses to put his infinite word in the hearts of finite man and to be a vessel of righteousness in his hands. Um, when, we, when we study about the prophetic word, it accomplishes many things. It brings about many things. And we've been looking at uh, several, several things. And today, uh, we look at the fact that the prophetic word is not only for individuals. It, it's not only for one man or one woman, but it's also for a people group. It, it is also for a community. And we see this uh, in the life of Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 1, verses 9 and 10. Then the Lord put forth his hand and Jeremiah is actually testifying, he's saying, The Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth, and the Lord said to me, Behold, I have put my words in your mouth. See, I have this day set you over the nations and over the kingdoms to root out and to pull down, to destroy and to throw down, to build and to plant. So we see that his word, God's prophetic word released through Jeremiah, God has his intent. He's saying, I'm going to pull down. I'm going to root out. I'm going to destroy and I'm going to throw down. I'm also going to establish certain things. And as God sent Jeremiah to prophesy to the nation, to prophesy over, over kingdoms, that this word would actually affect the, the nation. This word would affect kingdoms because it is God's word, it is not man's word. So, so we see that the, the prophetic word can change, can bring change to nations. And another thing that we see about the prophetic word is that um, it's, it's our responsibility to take the word of God, to take the prophetic word and use it in warfare. Um, Paul writes to Timothy, in 1st Timothy chapter 1 and verse 18 and he says you know this charge I commit to you Timothy this responsibility I give you son Timothy according to the prophecies previously made concerning you that by them that you may wage the good warfare so he's saying you, you know you take these prophecies you receive these prophecies and it's good exciting nice to hear these prophecies but then you receive that and you wage the good warfare meaning that when you face difficulties, when you face mountains, when you face situations which are intimidating, you take these prophecies out and you face those mountains. You use the sword of the Spirit. You raise up the shield of faith and you'll be able to quench all the accusations, all the fiery darts, all the intimidation and the lies and the deception which comes from the enemy. So the prophetic word, uh, we are called to wage a good warfare with the prophetic word. So we see that uh, God's prophetic word not only is, is, is it not only is it for an individual, uh, but it's also for communities. It's for nations, and we also see that God's prophetic word is is good. We get excited. We receive. We receive a lot of comfort, and there's a hope for the future, and so on. But it is also used in warfare. So as we pray now. Uh, let's pr just pray with that expectation. Uh, let's pray that um, uh, the fact that you know that God has given us word and there's a there's an assignment on each one of our lives. There's a responsibility that we carry, and um, wherever God has placed us, Father, we thank you for your prophetic word. We thank you that your word is uh, so powerful to even change nations, Lord. And Father, we pray that for those of us who are called, who are given that kind of an assignment, we pray that we will faithfully speak your word, faithfully declare your word, the word that you put in our hearts over nations, to see the nations change. And Father, personally for our own lives, we pray that the word that you give us, we know is so powerful that when we face the work of the enemy, when we face discouragement, when we face challenges, that we are called to rise up and wage the good warfare with the word that you put in our hearts, with the prophetic word. Father, we thank you for this privilege that you've given us. We rise up to take our place, to take our responsibility. We thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.